Hey writer, you probably clicked on this video because you want to improve or create your author website, but your biggest question is design. What should your branding colors be? What pages should you have? What should be on those pages? Generally, how should it look and how should it function? Well, I don't know about you, but I'm a very visual learner. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you eight author websites that were created or improved by authors who took my author website bootcamp, where I teach authors from start to finish how to create and design the author website of their dreams and in the process gain a lot of traction with their author platform, including newsletters, subscribers, bonus pages and all the works after this video if you want to see even more author websites from my boot campers or you want to check out the next boot camp i will be running in june definitely check out the link in the description below where you can see the testimonials page and also more information about the course but right now let's go to my computer and i will show you these eight amazing author websites so you can get some inspiration for your own designs Okay, so as we talk about author website design today, I'm really excited to show you a little bit of my own website, but also the websites of some of my author website boot campers, including Christine Rowland, Laura Ross, H.J. Stack, Savannah J. Goins, Bethany Atazada, Katie Wilson, and Holly Davis. And I'm so proud of all of these ladies. They were so fun to work with as we used Wix.com to then have them all create such different designs with such different flavors. And I'm really excited to just go through and again show you some of these specific pages, give you a few tips so that you can then have some concrete examples of what your website could look like. And the first thing I always bring up with my clients when talking about creating their author website is branding. You definitely want your website and your social media and your book covers and all of that to sort of portray the same kind of message and the same kind of feel so that you are recognizable. So if you already have branding colors, great, but if you don't and you have no idea how to do that, again, we do go into a lot of depth in the author website bootcamp, but just generally, you wanna be thinking about a few things. You wanna think about your book covers if you have them, and if you don't, like many of our ladies here, some of them are published, but many of them are querying or still working on their books, they are then thinking about what target audience they are writing for, colors that go with that genre, colors that attract their target audience, but also they are a brand themselves. As an author, you are your own brand. So you also wanna be thinking about your personality and what kind of colors and vibes communicate what you would like to communicate to your readers. So to start off, let's just look at these sites and I really want you to see that there are three sort of main ways you can go with branding. The first being is you could pick a light theme like mine. And if you go in this direction, you feel like this really complements who you are and the books you're gonna be coming out with. You start with sort of like a white background base, but then have just like an accent color that is also sort of light. So for me, I went with white with like a little accent of this pink, maybe some like teal blue. But then we also have Christine who went with white and then a beige color, which is really nice. Um, then we have Laura who has white, but then chose gray with like a little bit of this really light orange and she has some pictures that also complement her sort of neutral theme. Now if you feel like you and your branding and your books are, have a little bit more of a darker tone, you could sort of look at websites like H.J. Stack, who has elements of white, but a lot of it, again, is dark and has like this dark purple theme, which is really fun. We also have Savannah, who has a little bit more of a darker theme as well with some white, but she definitely has like a lot of black and red, and her picture is black and white. So those two websites are definitely some inspiration if you want to go a little bit darker. The other option is to really have these big pops of color. And so Bethany's website is definitely a great option. She has this really great bright orange here and a lot of her books have big pops of color. Katie Wilson went with a very bold teal, which I love so much. And you can see in her Instagram pictures that that pulls through as well. And then Holly also chose, because her book is the Celestial Code, to even have images that portray the sky and has this bright purple and pink kind of theme. During the boot camp, we go into great detail about how to pick your colors and how to also pick your fonts and everything that has to do with branding. So again, if you need more help with that, definitely check that out. But as you can see here, these ladies just picked great colors and their layouts are just so cohesive because they have focused on specific branding colors. Then we definitely want to talk about the actual pages, right? Now, when you are creating an author website, the bare minimum pages that you need 
are your homepage, your about page, your books page, and your contacts page. Everything else I call bonus pages, which I'll talk about a little bit at the end, and those are just meant to really help engage your audience even more. But at the bare minimum, these are the four pages that you need. Let's take a little bit of time to just look at each of these pages real quick, and again, give you some ideas and some inspiration for your own websites. Let's take a look at home pages first, and these are very important because they help set up your viewer to know what to check out first. You really have an opportunity to show your viewer what is most important and what you want them to check out first. So for me, I don't have any books out yet, so I'm really branding myself. And so first I have a quick little about me section. Then I have my newsletter sign up form because you definitely want to be grabbing your audience and engaging with them further. If you don't do a newsletter, they don't know how to connect with you further and you're only going to be selling books in the future and really engaging with your audience if you have a newsletter. Then I just have a few other bonus things here, like my author tube. I also have a Patreon where I help and mentor other writers. And then obviously my author website services. Let's take a look at Christine's now. She has this great, very unique banner up here, which I love so much. She's also featuring her newsletter. She's got an about section about her, a little bit about her books so people can go check that out, and even a teaser about her blog posts and how you can become a member. You'll also see that a bunch of us are showing off our Instagram feed here, which is an option that Wix allows you to do, which is so fun. So I have mine at the top here. When we're on Laura's page. She has hers at the bottom as well. And Laura's got some of these um, great offerings here too that she chose pictures to sort of highlight with. Again, her newsletter sign up, a little bit about her. I also really love how HJ just made this sort of slider so that you can really see the different things that she is offering with easy buttons just to click and go right to. She's got a little bit about her as an author as well. And then one of her offerings is to help you with world building building along with blog posts and her Instagram as well and her newsletter down here. Savannah also has an offering where you can grab a free media kit by signing up for her newsletter so I love that she put that up there and then she features her books in a really cool way, a little bit about her and speaking engagements and her author tube and Instagram. Bethany is self-published so one of the first things you see for her are obviously all of her books as well and she's also talking about her newsletter and her Patreon and and you can see that there's different ways that everybody has divided these different sections, either with lines or with banners. Katie has also chosen to use her Instagram pictures as her banner up here. She's got a little bit about herself, her newsletter sign up, her author tube and book tube teaser, a little bit about her upcoming books and her blog posts. And then Holly has also started off a little bit about herself. She's got this great tagline too, YA fantasy writer, author tuber, book nerd, which is so fun. A little bit about her upcoming book, which again, she doesn't have a cover for, but just put a little aesthetic, which I love. She's got her author tube as well and her Instagram at the bottom with her newsletter sign up. The second page you definitely want is an about page. So let's take a look at a few of those. And a couple things you definitely really want is obviously your picture, at least one, your author bio. And I would really try to put some unique things about yourself in your author bio. One way that Savannah has done this specifically is she obviously talks about her as a writer, but then she also talks about, because she's a fantasy writer, how she is a professional dragon wrangler because she is a registered veterinary technician, which is so cool. So you can also put just some unique things that could tie in to yourself as a writer as well along with links that take your viewer to other pages on your website because again you don't want them to visit a page and be like wow that was nice to read about them and then not know where to go next. I've also included links to some of my author tube videos that people can check out that have to do with me as a writer as well and here are a few others.
page you definitely want is your books page. Even if you're not published yet, you want to start teasing out your books a little bit so people can get excited about them. So for example, I have my books page, but it really only has a little teaser about my upcoming debut with an aesthetic that I've put together, and then people can sign up for book updates, or they can even see what inspired this work in progress, which takes them down to how do I come up with my story ideas, which drives them back to my author tube channel, because again, I don't have books out yet. I do, however, share a little snippet of a micro story I wrote for a micro story contest that I actually won. So again, you can show a little snippet of some other writing if you don't want to show the book that you're working on currently. Again, I also really encourage you guys to have this page all set up so that when you do have books that come out, all your viewers are already used to checking out the books page. Now, if you are already published like Bethany is, she actually has quite a few pages for each book, but this is the page for Evelyn's number. And you can see that she has links to buy the book, obviously, where you can read about the book where you can get the first five chapters and even some reviews and a book trailer and all different kinds of stuff that you can include once you have some books out. And to show you a few more examples, here are some other books pages. last page you definitely have to have is a contact page. Again, to engage with anybody that has questions for you or wants to contact you. A super simple page because it really only needs a contact form, maybe some links to your socials. If you get some frequently asked questions, you could also include some FAQs in here. But there are so many ways that you can design this page and make it really fun. So I'm just going to show you a couple of examples from my website boot campers. sure you have those four crucial pages on your website, you can then start thinking about adding some bonus pages, which again, just engages your viewers further. And so for me, I have this tips and tools page for writers where I've organized all of these resources. Most of us also included a members page like Christine did here, where if you are a writer or a reader, you can enter by getting her super secret password through her newsletter, and you will be able to access a bunch of exclusives. You could do a blog like Katie did, which is also great for your SEO. And I show my boot campers in the course how you can use Pinterest to get more traffic to your blog. Laura also did a resource page and she talks about different books, website links, podcast, brainstorming resources that have really helped her. We also talked about doing a recommended reads page like HJ Stack, and you can also link in your Amazon affiliate links so that you can be making some passive income if people choose to purchase the books that you have promoted. And speaking of passive income, some of my boot campers have also used the knowledge that they learned in the course to create pages for their own services. So here Savannah has a service for authors who are doing cover reveals. Bethany created a page so that she could promote her book trailer services. And Holly Davis also has a first chapter critique service that she created a page for. Now this was a very quick overview of each of the websites, but if you wanna go take a look at them in even more detail to get even more inspiration, you can go to the testimonials page 
on my website, click Bootcamp Clients, and you will find all of these wonderful websites listed here as well as their testimonials. So Katie said here, I knew zero about websites. This was 110% worth my investment. Savannah says Brittany's course was the perfect solution to my problem. Holly says it's one of the best decisions she ever made in her writer journey. Her newsletter count actually doubled after she updated her website after the bootcamp course. Christine said Brittany's course was totally HTML free and this is all because we are using Wix.com and she says it was worth every penny. Laura says I now have a finished product. I am proud to show others. And HJ said Brittany's website course was so thorough and informative. So I really hope that those author websites gave you some inspiration. But again, if you want someone to help walk you through step-by-step step how to create your author website, brand it, create your newsletter, and a bunch of other awesome things, you're not going to want to miss the next author website bootcamp. You can check out all the details in that link in the description below. And I wanted to let you know that I'm currently running a promotion where you get $25 off the course. All you need to do is check out my Patreon page, which I also have linked below, where I mentor authors in their writing, author platforms, and even writerly side hustle ideas. And just for trying out Patreon for as little as $2, you get $25 off the entire course. I'm only taking the first 25 authors that register for the course and I think I have about 17 spots left. So if you're interested, definitely don't wait. Check it out. Let me know if you have any questions. And until then, I also have two other author website videos that you can totally check out and get even more information. Don't forget to subscribe for more writerly content like this. And until I see you in the next video, happy writing.